as with the previous video, this is a continuation of the Chapter 4 exercise for starting a new Revit MEP project. If you're having problems with the exercise, you can browse to the Chapter 4 folder, open the Project Files folder, and there is a file there, Chapter 4 O2 Linked Architecture, from where you can start. Otherwise, carry on from where we left off. Our next task is to copy monitor the levels and grids from the architects file. As we have existing building elevations, scroll down in the project browser and open the north elevation. In this view, we can see the linked architecture file. And if I scroll in, we can see the levels that the architects created. Notice that the architect is using imperial units while in my file I'm using metric. There is absolutely no problem in mixing units like this, unlike some other CAD systems. We can also see from these architectural levels that the architect has created four levels in his building where he has views attached. These levels are the one with blue level heads. The black one, parapet, has no plan views associated with it. To copy monitor the levels, Go to the Collaborate tab and click on Copy Monitor. We're going to select the linked architectural file. Notice how the ribbon changes. Here we can set options, copy. We can monitor if we already have existing levels or grids. And we can set coordination settings and batch copy. These two tools are for using with MEP objects that the architect may have defined in his project file. For the time being, however, we're going to go with the copy command. Here I can go and select the levels. And as I click on them, notice that we may get a warning message. This one can be ignored. And select each subsequent level. Once we've finished, Click on Finish on the ribbon, and if we click and drag on this circle, we can see that we now have four levels defined in our project. Scrolling out will give me a display that shows that this level is monitored with a level in the architect's file. The contextual part of the ribbon also shows that we have a monitor going on. Now I have my levels in place. I want to create the grids, but to do this, I really need to have floor plans in place in my model. If you remember earlier, we deleted all the floor plans and levels out of our project, so I need to create new. From the View tab, click on Plan Views, click on Floor Plan, and then select the levels we wish to create floor plans for. Click on OK. This has now created the four floor plans. And if I scroll down in the project browser, we'll see them located under HVAC floor plans. Open the entry level floor plan. At this point, I'm going to scroll in until I can see the entire building. I'm going to go to the Collaborate tab, click on Copy Monitor, and repeat the process I did earlier by selecting the link, clicking on the RVT link file, and click on Copy. In this view, there are quite a few building grids to copy. So on the Options bar, I do have the option to do a multiple selection. Let's see how that works. I'm going to create a crossing window across my entire floor plan. This selects everything. So the first thing I need to do is click on Filter Selection. In the Filter box, I'm going to only select the building grids. Click on OK. Now here's the tricky part. When copy monitoring the levels, I clicked on Finish. But with the multiple copy command, I need to click Finish twice. Once on the Options bar, and the second time back on the ribbon. So Finish once. Again, at this point, I'll ignore the warning message. But what I do want to do is click Finish again. But my ribbon has changed. To click on Finish to finish this command, 
I need to click on the Copy Monitor tab and now click on Finish. Let's see what's happened with the grids. If I select one of the grids and drag it out, you can see we have the same situation as we did with the levels.